Hello there everyone and welcome back to Victory and Glory Napoleon. I have gone ahead and moved Napoleon away from Spain and in doing so the British have seized the opportunity to attack and they've brought I believe it's Swedish troops again because this is, you can't see, there we go, Charles John. Crown Prince of Sweden, which is the best general the British have had so far. Uh, and as we can see, we don't have that many troops here left in Spain. And it's not all, uh, enough to actually cover everything. Luckily for me, however, I was able to pick up this, this defensive ground card. And so we've got that. I believe also we have, well, we have Napoleon's genius. But I don't think we're going to play that. Uh, I think that will be maybe too much. I think this will be enough, given that a lot of the British troops are ones and so forth. So it's a pretty new army, even though it comes under the command of the Crown Prince of Sweden. Um, and I've, I've, I've lined it up like this. We've got a town and then we've got two ridges, making our artillery super powerful. And then, yeah, hopefully... This will be enough to fight in the next round. So looking at this, um, you know what? We might want to be safe. So, ah, crap. I can't play it now. I was thinking we might want to be safe by, um, by playing Napoleon's Genius card. But we cannot do that right now. We're going to pass the initiative. We're going to let them march up. Uh, taking out those strong infantry units is going to be very important. We're going to get him into square. And then we're going to see about, let's see, if I can get the infantry unit maybe to strike first. Crushing attack. Oh, that failed. Follow up now with artillery strike. And that, that succeeded. We, we took out one of their units. Let's go ahead and pass the initiative. They're going to move in more troops there. Now they're going to move in troops here in the center. In the center we have a problem because we don't have any of the defensive terrains. So really our left is the strongest point and the center is weakest. And that's why I've left these two in reserves to push them in if I saw a gap uh, uh, protruding anywhere. So we're going to get rid of these um, the good infantry units. And we're going to take the uh, Voltageers here. Let's see, what do we have? We have excellent attack. But we have crushing attack against these guys. And they're eliminated. Good. And then we're going to have the artillery. Excellent attack. Excellent. So it's better to shoot at the artillery. They're disarrayed. Um, we're going to pass the initiative. Let them march up. So we have something to deal with, and I've got two possible uh, possibilities. You know what? Focus in on that artillery. See if we can get rid of that. Didn't work with the um, cavalry. See if it works with the artillery. Excellent attack, and yes, they are eliminated. And the enemy moves up their remaining units, and so in the ah. This is just the exact reason why I had the reserves. So um, we're going to push up the uh, Dragoons. Um, am I going to drag these? No, we're going to wait with that. Because it's better to have uh, the general at, at full, s full score as it were. We're going to get that Dragoon up as soon as possible. Okay, so the enemy is, is able to start their attack, but there we're in. Um, let's see. We're going to get the Voltageers to attack. We need to get rid of that artillery. Nice, we got rid of him. They're sending in more infantry. So it looks pretty safe at this point, but you never know what's going to happen. Um, on this side, good attack. Weak attack. Uh, I guess we'll try to get rid of this guy, since it's a good attack. And then crushing with the artillery. 
Yeah. Just get rid of him. Forced him to retreat. Could probably have done better there. Uh, center. Go ahead and get rid of that Swedish infantry unit. I think they're Swedish. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. The enemy attacking heavily towards the town. But that didn't work out for them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these guys into square. And then I'm going to see which one does best the infantry unit. It's going to do excellent attack or crushing. Mm, that did not work. Let's get make sure that we get... Oh! I was going to say, well, let's make sure that we get rid of him, but that did, that did not happen. Um, yeah, we have no more moves, so we're going to pass the initiative over to the enemy. And we're going to fight in the next round. The cannon is still a disarrayed in the center, but their attack in the center hasn't gone that, uh, that well, so uh, it's probably not going to be a problem. Yes, nice, get rid of those good infantry units, those proper Englishmen. Let's get rid of them. Let's shoot down the Swede. Didn't work. Let's charge the cavalry, get rid of him. That didn't work either. Um, I guess we'll shoot up the square. He's gone. And then we're gonna bombard the other unit that's just moved in. No, I'll, I guess we'll send in the cavalry first. Depending on yeah, depending on what happens there. So minus two. Excellent. We're gonna get this guy into square. Shoot him. Get rid of him. And then over here, let's see. Weak attack, average, weak. Let's get this guy into square then. It didn't matter really where I attacked. It was similar all across the board. On. Really? Get that square. Destroy that square. So the cannon, which has seven points, did not kill that infantry unit. But the uh, the <laughs> sort of the um, reservist Spanish unit that I have, he managed to uh, shoot them down. I guess the cannon did like the pre-work of blowing up blowing holes in the line and so forth. Right. Um, let's get this guy first. I want to destroy as many British units as possible. The attack in the center has failed. The attack on the right is failing. Everything's going crap for England. Maybe I was... Uh, I, maybe I thought that the English were going to do a lot better here just because I saw the numbers, but looking at this, they're not doing great at all. Uh, let's see. So they're all disarrayed on, on the our left side. Let's get this guy into square and then bombard him with the artillery. Let's see if the artillery alone this time around is able to break the square. And it is. And then the infantry will continue. Um, given the situation right now, I'm actually... No. Let the old guard stay. Let's see. I am, would imagine the enemy to retreat at this point. But they're going to try to uh, get some extra units back on the field. Fight in the next round. The guys in the town are still disarrayed. And a lot of the enemy units have come back. We have a possibility of opening up this boat. I'm going to focus in here because I want to kill as many enemy units as possible. Now, at this point, a lot of the enemy units are, uh, of course, they're not actually proper British troops. They're troops that are be just being controlled by the British. He's disarrayed, and that should open up for the Dragoons. Force them to retreat though, I don't like that. Oh, they forced them to, squ in, 
to make square inside the town. And we're going to get the Voltageers to fire over here. And then we're going to pass the initiative over to the enemy. Oh, I guess he can attack from the town. It's probably not going to be... Uh, attack the cavalry. Get rid of them. And then pass the initiative. And the enemy flees. Let's see. What... So they have one unit, and you know what we're gonna pursue. Ah, one hit on either side. It's actually gonna do worse for us. Yeah, that did not go well. Probably shouldn't have pursued. But I want to destroy as m That was the only unit we lost. The one here at the end. So if I hadn't done that, uh, every single unit would have uh, survived. Uh, drawing a card because we won the battle. Austria is back at war with us again, as you can see. And they actually liberated Bavaria. Do I have a force march move card something? No. Uh, we're going to move Napoleon's army towards uh, the Austrians. Uh, we're not going to threaten uh, the capital just yet, but I'm planning to. So we're kind of moving towards towards there. Uh, I'm getting all the Ottoman troops together, so we're trying to m amass them in Constantinople. Um, given the situation for the enemy, let's pr pursue Prince John and destroy him. Oh, so of course they're able to retreat back to Gibraltar, the cowards. Um, let's see, any event cards I can use? I don't think there is anything really. Uh, I guess Imperial Guard is the only thing I can use. Uh, we're not going to use it on that army. Napoleon's army. Napoleon, I don't think this army actually has any... Uh, old Guard. And Napoleon needs an Old Guard unit in his army because that makes sure that Napoleon doesn't die during the battle. Uh, I don't have any activation, so end the turn. Um, maybe played if Great Britain is the only nation. Code Napoleon, the code forbade, blah blah blah, so and so forth. I guess this one's better. There's uh, not going to be a chance right now to uh, push, uh, rush out and make sure... Oh, they even leave Vienna at this point. If I have force march, if I just could have gone a force march, I could have force marched in to Vienna. But I guess we're gonna have to face the Austrians. So we're gonna hold here, let the uh, let them come to us. And the general is gonna move up here, and this young this general Rushi is gonna move into uh, Piedmont. And now we have a small army there, and he can actually go around uh, claiming a lot of these uh, Italian uh, Italian states for us. Um, this army is going to move back, hold the uh, capital, and then this one is going to move up. This one uh, has very a lot of uh, German troops in it. Uh, just to make sure, let's get these guys in there. Uh, did I... what cards did I get? What interesting. Code Napoleon forbade privileges when played following changes. Diplomatic tr Spain minus four, Germany plus two. Um, yeah, I guess. Because Spain is under our control, so it doesn't really matter. And enter. Uh, call the army or recruit minor nation troops. Uh, we're going to take this one. Okay, so then move back. And oh, so the Austrian army is going to play itself as it usually does and uh, we're gonna be able to oh 30 holy shit what the they have they played to be able to get an army of 30 units however the Austrians have once again played themselves and let us march into their capital you're gonna go into Milan you're gonna stay there and you know what, Napoleon can avoid a fight, but Napoleon's still going to try to move towards here because we're going to try to, at some point, push Russia out of the fight. Um, let's see, event cards. I didn't really pick up anything good. Recruit 
uh, minor nations. The thing is, I, go I think I got pretty good in Belgium. Yeah, two units, two infantry units. Uh, maybe I should have waited to, to, to do that though, when the Austrians um, are pushed out. Uh, let's go ahead and end turn. Uh, minor troops, minor troop, minor troops in Italy because uh, oh, force march. I've never actually seen the enemy. D ah, shit! They tricked me, the bastards. Um, we're gonna attempt to retreat. Oh, of course, we fail. Shit. Uh, we have no artillery, and the Austrians, of course, have tons of artillery. I, I, j I was talking so much about how they play themselves. Now Davo is in a very bad position here. Um, what are we going to do? He's got some old guard units and cavalry. He's actually got some uh, Polish lancers as well. You know what? We should mix, mix the poorer units with the better. So, the heavy cavalry, the good cavalry units, gonna have some of these guys next to them, and then the poorer cavalry will have some of the good units next to them. Um. And that's the plan. See how the enemy organizes. Got lots of heavy artillery. Uh, we're gonna fight for two rounds, then we're gonna retreat. So we're gonna pass the initiative over to the enemy. It's gonna be important to get those cannons. Try to destroy them. I should have attacked with the Voltageers first and then gone in with the cavalry. Um. I'm just gonna keep bombarding this guy, hoping that maybe I can get him to retreat. Yes! I got him to retreat, so... That will save us a lot in that on that side. But the thing is, they've got, they've got plenty of cannons in reserve. Uh, we're gonna ignore you. There we go. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and attack you with the voltageers, making sure that you are in disarray. Then, we're gonna attack with the heavy cavalry. And force you to retreat. And then I guess we can shoot here. And then I don't have any points more, and the enemy has three points. So they move up more cannons. L lucky for us, I've been able to push back their heavy cannons. And we're gonna fight in the next round. Thing is, they've got so much cavalry as well the question is if they will be able to um, sort of push us away this is really important right here let's see what do we have plus three plus two let's have the old guard attack then disarrayed retreat not kill them it would have been nice to get them to kill them but I guess we can't ask for everything um, Gonna get the uh, Voltageers to come in, get them in disarray, then charge with the uh, heavy cavalry. They're still there. Um, this one, then. I mean, they've, that means that they've got five units of heavy artillery. Yes, one that was destroyed. Uh, we're gonna go ahead with the remaining points to focus in on this guy and retreat. Good. Um, right, what am I going to do? Get this guy into square. And, cool. What? I guess we can, yeah, we'll, we'll shoot here at one unit. Focus in on this guy. And I guess you can shoot this one. There's no point in getting this guy to attack the square. Oh, it's an excellent attack, actually. Polish Lancers! When the winged hussars arrive and they break the square and force them off the field of battle. The Austrians are not doing too well at this point. This small army under Davor is uh, doing very well. I should not jinx myself like that, saying it's going well. As soon as I said it, one, uni one, one of my uh, German units died. Uh, we're gonna fight in the next round because, well, that's what we do.
Um, right, we're gonna keep doing our plan of letting the Voltageers attack the cannons. And yes, destroyed. So the Austrians, even though they had an army of 30 men, uh, were actually kind of holding on here with Davos' army. We need to get rid of some units here. Um, the heavy cavalry units. What chances do we have? Weak attack. Excellent attack. Heavy cavalry versus heavy cavalry. Um, minus one. Plus five. Plus five is good. And we're gonna follow up that attack. Let's see. Minus two. Plus three. There's a little bit of a chance. Ah. Um, the guards. Guards has plus three. Cavalry has plus two. Focus in on that artillery piece. We don't want him sitting there blasting us. Eliminated. Nice. Uh, disrupted cavalry. There's a chance of him uh, counterattacking. So we're going to hold that back. And instead we're going to shoot th with this guy. And then pass the initiative over to the enemy. Now... <coughs> Look over at how many units the Austrians have that have retreated at this point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two eliminated. So Davos is just... We're crushing the Austrians. Um, so even though... Oh, we d why don't we have a chance to retreat yet? Uh, what's my plan? Get the heavy cavalry out of action. God damn it. Right, Voltageers attack. Retreat. They just retreat. They keep retreating. And over on this side, everyone's disarrayed. Can we get the Voltageers maybe? No. Cavalry. Plus three. Oh, it retreats. Everyone in the Austrian army just retreats. Uh, weak attack, good attack. Want to get rid of these? Yes, he retreats. That means the old guard is now faced with these uh, onesies. The old guard. Come on. Attack by old guard twice and still remains. God damn it. Bloody strong unit, I'd say. Everyone just retreats. They're not killed off, they just retreat. Ah. Um. Okay, so we've got quite a few units retreating at this point. Oh shit, the center is weak. Ooh. Um. We're gonna have to get some uh, get some of these guys back. Let's see. The Voltageer is important. Cavalry is important. So six. Even though we've gotten two guys back, um, even then he's still better than the enemy, or he's be he's got a better command rating than the enemy. Uh, these guys need to be moved into the centers immediately. Oh. God damn it! No, let me let me reinforce the center. God damn it! God damn you! So let's see. Good attack. Poor attack. Let's get rid of this guy. He's causing a lot of problem. Get these guys into square. The last unit able to attack on this side. Let's get him into square. Come on, give him in. Oh, he died. Um, get him into square. Now the old god should be able to kill him off. There we go. And... 
Nice. They, it, it, Charles needs to start bringing some of the retreated troops back. And I need to bring some of me, mine back as well. So we're back to 10. Can you see about? No, oh, wrong button. Nice. And we're gonna get both. Yes, we got both of them back. Fight in next round. No, yes, get back from disarray. This is an heroic battle, really. And this general definitely needs to be promoted. Uh, get these guys into square, maybe? Nope, that did not work. Let's see what the enemy plans. Huh. Um, right. Well, get rid of this guy. Nice. And then... Heavy versus light cavalry. Disarrayed. Let's get the lances in then. Let's see if the lances match them with my lances. And yes, we did. And eliminated enemy units. Our lancers will attack. Weak. Minus seven. Attack. And then the old guard. Units. Ret they all just retreat. There's so many units that have retreated there. We're gonna... Um, the ooh, I'm... I'm... Thinking of where, you know what, we need two infantry units on, on all fronts, so we're gonna push him in there. And, ah, oh, the we won the battle, the enemy was pushed away. Um, we're gonna decline pursuit, because that's probably only gonna lo get us, our men, lose some troops for us. So they lost three infantry, one cavalry, three cannons. But I mean, if I mean, imagine if I would able to actually be able to pursue them there. That would have been amazing, I'd say. And that should really push them out because now, yep, Austria once again is defeated. And Napoleon marries into a royal family. If I recall correctly, that wasn't very good. Um, one thing I want to do... Do I ever join Minor Nation? Because I want to take that from the Austrians. They always get that. Uh, there. Boom! So now the Austrians... They took Bavaria from me, then I take Venice from them. So Austria is really cut to pieces at this point. Um, that's what they get for messing with the French Empire. Anyways, looking at the time here, we have uh, until something else like interesting, like the possible attack on Spain again, or something like that, or when I'm able to move forward. So basically, what I said in the last episode, if there's something important that happened, then I will go ahead and film it again. But I'm probably gonna have to do a few turns in between there. I'm not entirely sure if it's then an end date to this because right now we're in 1813 so I'm not entirely sure if the allies have maybe a time frame in which they need to defeat me or if it's the other way around. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I guess it would be really the other way around because England wouldn't have the money really to finance the war forever so at a certain point um, France could win, but I'm not entirely sure how how it plays out. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!